Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mungli. So today I am going to explain to you on uh, one of the questions which is based on uh, protein folding process and the structure of a protein molecule. So as you all know that uh, proteins will undergo trial and error folding process after the translation so to reach their low energy native conformation and this trial and error folding process is often helped by some other proteins like chaperones and chaperonins so and along with the chaperones and chaperonins there are some other proteins uh, which can also help in the uh, protein folding uh, process and that is cis trans isomerase enzyme and protein disulfide isomerase enzymes let me repeat one more time the proteins that helps in the folding process of a protein native protein molecule is chaperones and chaperonins and then we have cis trans isomerase enzyme and then we have protein disulfide isomerase enzymes okay what happens in the protein folding process so during this process so proteins will attain their secondary structure and then secondary structure they refold into tertiary structure. If the protein has got more than one subunit tertiary structure further it is folded into quaternary structure basically because of the interaction between the side chains. Now the primary structure of a protein molecule is because of a peptide bond. Secondary structure is because and there are two secondary structure mainly and that is alpha helix and beta sheets. And that's what I have written here. There is an alpha helix. This is one of the secondary structure. And then we have beta sheets. Along with the alpha helix and beta sheets, we have beta bends, loops, turns and coils. These are uh, non-repetitive structures which you are going to find in a protein molecule. Now, these secondary structures are all because of the hydrogen bonds between the peptide bonds. So the peptide bonds which are connecting two amino acids together. So these peptide bonds, especially the carbonyl oxygen and nitrogen hydrogen of the peptide bonds, they can interact with the neighboring peptide bonds and those are the ones which are responsible for formation of hydrogen bond formation and that is the one which is responsible for alpha helix and beta sheets. Now the question here is in a protein secondary structure the bends that is a reverse tight beta turns can be initiated by which of the following sequence. So the amino acid sequence basically two to amino acids are given from option A to option H. Now the option A is isoleucine and leucine. So just to uh, coming straight to the point here. So always whenever you see the amino acid that is responsible for beta bends, loops, turns, coils and that is always uh, because of proline. Proline is basically it's an amino acid because it has got a secondary amino group Basically, the carbon, uh, the amino group, amino group that is attached to the alpha carbon, it will be interacting with the side chain of proline. Because of this, what happens? It will make a five-membered rigid ring, and this five-membered rigid ring, it is not well accommodated in a smooth helical structure, and that is the one which is responsible for introduction of bends kinks in a polypeptide chain. So wherever you see bends, loops, turns and coils in a protein molecule and that is always because of the presence of proline. Now along with the proline what else which which other another amino acid that you are going to come across. So since proline leads to bends or kinks in a polypeptide chain and as you can expect that so if the bend is something like this so the space that is available in the bend it will be very less and in that particular space the very less space that is available in the bend only amino acid that can be well accommodated is the most simplest amino acid and that is the glycine uh, let me repeat glycine is the simplest amino acid among all the 20 standard amino acid and hence glycine can be well accommodated along with the proline that is why in beta bends loops turns Often you see along with the proline there will be glycine okay and that's why the option E here that is proline and glycine makes an answer for this particular question. Thanks for watching and I will come up with some other question 
and uh, maybe soon. Thank you.